Hello friends, I am starting to analyze some notes that may be of interest of, to you. My name is Yuri Kovalenek and I like to take notes. So my friends, let's get started. That is Maxwell equation, a typical question on the exam of the university. There are only four questions that describe all electrical phenomena. Maxwell's first equation is the Gauss theorem in the differential form. I hope you know that the flow of the electric displacement vector through a closed surface is equal to the algebraic sum of the charge that is inside is this surface. The second Maxwell equation says that the magnetic field lines are always closed. There are no magnetic charges. Maxwell's third equation is a Faraday's law or the law of the electromagnetic induction and the minus sign in this point is land through. And finally the four Maxwell equation is the law of Biot-Savart applies. It asserts the fact that the magnetic field is created by the conduction current and displacement current. But it's the better not to use the concept of displacement current. It is better to say that this is a, a time variable vortex electric field. Friends, if you want to get more detailed information, you can purchase this and another notes from the link in the description of this video. Well, we moving on. In this problem you need to determine the minimum force that the well can drive on the sidewalk. I hope you remember the second condition of equilibrium. The sum of the moments of the force must be equal to zero. This is the basis for solving this problem. Look at the accelerated driving. It will help you understand the solution of the problem. In the next problem I drew a Tesla car. We are talking about the maximum speed of movement about the circle so that the car does not tip over. This line must pass through the center of mass of the car. You will get the corresponding similar triangles that determine the speed. A classic problem in electrical engineering mixed connection of uh, capacitors. You need to transform on this circuit talking into account the fact that the electric current does not pass through the nodal points which the sum potential. As a result you will get a simple circuit in which it is no longer difficult to determine the equivalent capacitance of the capacitor. Friends, once again I remind you that this and another notes which in explanation and condition of the problems can be purchased at the link uh, that is in the description on this video. That's all for now. If you are interested, you can write in the comments which notes uh, you are more interested. In my next video project, I will try to give an answer about it. Now write comments and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye everyone. Sincerely, Yuri Kovalenok.